Hi guys, it's Shelly here. Um, I know it's been a few days, maybe a couple of weeks since I've made a video, so um, I thought I would just do like a small mini haul um, of the stuff that I've gotten this week, and then um, I also entered a um, my first card swap ever, so um, do it uh, one happy crafty chick here on YouTube, and um, so I'll show you the beginnings of my cards and stuff that I'm working on and um, also a little mini album that I've been working on just to kind of help spark my creativity since I'm in such a rut over the other mini album that I've shown. So I'll start with the haul. Oh, um, my partner is um, My Little Sweet Peas. So spoiler alert, My Little Sweet Peas, if you don't want to see the cards you're going to get towards the end of this video, don't watch, okay? So, um, let's get started. Um, Joann's last weekend had that 25% off your total purchase, including clearance and sale price items. So I just picked up just a few things. Um, it's not like I really needed anything, but I thought I would take advantage of the coupon. So I got these um, American Crafts um, Glitter card stock in the silver and it's sticky back and then I also got the green and the red and I thought those would be good colors for me to work on like Christmas cards and stuff like that but I'm not sure that I like them because um, the glitter I don't know if you can tell it comes off really easily and stuff and that really annoys me so I'm not sure if I'm going to end up using them at all or not we'll see Okay, and then um, I also got um, the Amy Tangerine Bits pieces, and this is opened already, so um, I'll just have to show them to you really quick. Uh, this one says, enjoy today, and then there's a little paisley piece and a tag. Another one that says hello, happy memories. This one says spread the love. Another tag that's, you know, got like a little ledger on it. Um, this one says good times. Some more cute ones. Then a couple more tags. And then some little clouds. I love this little camera. It's so cute. Another camera. So it's remember. Another one. It's like a little library card almost. And then this one. And a little leaf. And so I picked those up, and um, I'm pretty sure they were 50% off plus the 25% off coupon. So I ended up getting them for like 80 or 90 cents and stuff. It was ridiculous. Okay, and then I um, smashed up quite a bit every time I go someplace. So I got these little tabs and stuff, and I thought this would be good for like um, – my Thanksgiving and Christmas like to-do list and stuff so you know because I always bake something for an auction for um, the American Legion it the proceeds go to their Christmas party for um, children who have lost um, a family member in a war or something and then um, I got this huge stack of stuff, and it's all going to fall off the table where I can't reach it. So, <laughs> paint in the rear. Okay, so um, I also picked up the basic gray fact and fiction. And I'll try to show, flip through it a little bit.
And then this is the fiction one. I like this one better than the fact, but um, they both go together really well. So. And then I also picked up another one of the um, 6x6 Amy Tangerine pads just because I have this one 12 by 12 and I really, really like it. Um, and uh, I'd like to put it in my um, Smashbook. This, I like to use Amy Tangerine just because it's really a good everyday color collection. Okay, and then I also got from the Basic Gray collection... Um, I got these uh, fact and fiction die cuts and cardstock pieces. Here's what they look like on the back. Um, I'll take some of them out because there are some really, really cute, like, vellum ones that are transparent. Okay. I got some tickets and stuff and quite a few of those little tabs this is noted this one says the date and then there's tags and like like this says whistle while you work and it's vellum it's plasticky see and then a little tab folder piece and then this is important, and this is film as well. And then some arrows and like a bracket, a to-do list, and then I can't even hold all of them up. There's so many, see. But this is official tag, a little mini Polaroid. A journal spot, a flag, like there's so many. I mean, this says thinking of you. Thanks so much. I mean, there's like so many things arrows, banners, enjoy the journey. Oops, sorry. This little star, I love this little star. And then this says blah blah blah. So cute. Then, like a little speech bubble. Like, there's so. This is You Lift Me Up. I mean, there's so many different ones and stuff. I love that because, I mean, most of the time you just get a bunch of cardstock pieces and everything. And, like, here's some more cardstock telegram a little thing with like the page is cut out a little guest check that's cute and then there's like little butterflies that are vellum in there there's a blue one and a yellow one and little flowers and little striped speech bubbles for like the date or something See, so those are really cute. Let me see if I can get those to the side so that I don't lose them. Okay, and then I love the metal flowers that come with basic gray. So I got these, and they're so cool. I love that orange color. It's really cool. And then I got the browns because I am a brad girl. I have probably two or three drawers filled with just browns and stuff. So... I had to get these, and I love this. It says, like, call me, and then um, it even has, like, the little letters, like, if you're dialing a phone, they would be on there, like, WXYZ and stuff, so that's cool. And then I also got the um, stickers, because um, I normally don't buy the stickers, because I think that, oh, I could just cut those out of the paper or whatever, and stuff, but with the 25% off coupon, every, every single one of these things was only like a dollar and 80 cents, so I couldn't really pass it up. 
So here's the stickers. And then I think that is it for um, like Joann's and stuff. So um, we'll move on. Um, I think this is from TJ Maxx. The rest of it's just kind of random stuff. So um, I got these flare buttons from my TJ Maxx because I have this um, paper that goes with this stuff and everything. I love this donkey. It's so funny. Cute. And then they had some stickers there. They only have like two packages. So I got these and they are um, the shoebox collection and they're like perfect green glitter for like Christmas. And then I got these um, remarks. I like how they kind of look like keys on a keyboard, but they're all different colors. Love that. And I like the font. It's really cute. And then, just a second, let me grab some other stuff. Okay. Now, um, I also picked up these glitter markers from TJ Maxx. Uh, they're from American Crafts as well. Um, I have a uh, like the metallic markers of these and I like them a lot so I thought I would try these out and see just how glittery they are and stuff and um let's see here what else did I get from TJ Maxx oh I also got this twine because I'm going to use it to wrap Christmas presents this year and there's um 410 feet and it's the like brown it's like chocolate I think that's what it's called um well, I can't find the color name on it, but anyway, it's like a brown, brown, and white. Okay, um, we'll move on to this. Um, I went to Super Walmart. It's north of me and stuff because I don't have a Super Walmart in my town. It's just a regular Walmart. And um, they started carrying all different kinds of um, scrapbook stuff. So I got these little Halloween flare badges. I think the skeleton is so cute. Look at him. He doesn't look scary at all. It's hilarious. Okay, and then um, they carry washi tape now. So I got this Christmas one. It's the presents on it. And then I also got this one. It kind of look reminds me of like Christmas ornaments, but it's more graphic. So I thought I could use that and like I'm going to try to make a December daily this year so I thought that might be neat and then um, let me see here let me get this off of here real quick and then um, they were getting ready they were clearancing some Halloween stuff so this is only like 62 cents that's insane and there's a ton in here. There's 12. I'll probably never use all that, all those and stuff. But I still haven't made our Halloween album for this year and stuff. So, And then I got this one, the Skeleton Keys. I thought that was neat. And then I picked up some treat bags so I could put cookies and things like that in them for um, Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff like that and then I also picked up this American Crafts glitter ribbon I already used one out of here right here but um it's uh there's like three different kinds in here you can see it the chunkiness of the glitter is different like this is really chunky it almost looks like sequins glued on it and then this one is like really, really fine. And then this one is like medium weight, like meshy almost. So I'll definitely be using that on my um, Christmas cards and things like that. Oh, and then I also picked up these little Christmas stickers. I think they are so cute and they shake. There's glitter in each one of them and stuff. And they're really really puffy 
and stuff. So, yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but that's kind of thick and stuff. They're about a quarter of an inch thick, and they're so cute. And it's like this one. This says, oh, dear, Christmas is here. This is only $1.50 at my local Walmart. And so, oh, sorry, guys, I got a text message. <laughs> sorry, I think this is hilarious, but it's my Joanne to go um, keep on of, like, the week. So <laughs> that's hilarious when I'm doing a haul. Oh, man, like I need to buy more stuff. Um, <laughs> okay. Moving on, um, <laughs> I also picked up this, um, oh, what's it called, uh, Smashbook washi tape from my Super Walmart, just because I use this quite a bit, and um, I probably used like half of the roll that I had before, so I figured I'd better pick up some more. Okay, and then um, I was just at my dollar store the other day, and I just saw some cute stuff that I might pick up and stuff, so... I picked up these little bags and stuff, and one of them is just gold, and the other one has, like, holly on it, and it's kind of, like, plaid. So that'd be cute to wrap some things in. And then I got these little Christmas card holders. They're, like, garland, and this one is, like, little um, gingerbread man, and this one is um, candy cane. So I thought that would be cute to hang by our built-in shelving and stuff to put our Christmas cards on this year. And then I also got, um, at my local Walmart, these um, little potion bottles from Kay and Company. They were also, they were only 87 cents and stuff. So I've saw, seen like a ton of Christmas stuff that I want that's there, but I'm gonna wait until it goes on clearance instead of buying it for like four bucks and stuff. Cause I mean, if I can get it for, 82 cents or 62 cents, then that's what I'd rather do. And then um, I picked up this creepy cloth decoration from my dollar store. It was in the clearance bin, so I got it for like 27 cents and stuff. Because um, I'm going to use it on our mini album. I'm going to drape it over the um, cover and stuff and dye it like a super dark black. Because right now it looks a little is grayish. Okay. And then I also got this little red garland. I thought this might be cute in my December daily as well. I might go back and pick up the green and the blue as well because I think the paper line that I'm going to use would match really well. Okay. And then um, I don't know if it's the last video or the video before that, but um, I mentioned that I bought some distress stains from Blitzy, and I hadn't used them yet, and I've only used two of them, but I really, really like them, except the dye, like, gushes out of the um, end once you dab it down a little bit, so, I mean, a little bit goes a long way, but I got ten different colors, and um, I got the aged mahogany. Um, fired brick, chipped sapphire, then um, brushed corduroy, and then um, what's your scattered straw, which I don't have this color in the distress um, ink pads, so since I have it in the stain, I might not have to buy it now, you know. And then I got walnut stain. This is always like a good staple color to use whenever you're not sure what you, uh, what color you would really want to use and you want a, a really distressed look. That walnut stain is my favorite. And then I got um, forest moss. And then I got the um, metallic colors. I got the um, brushed pewter, um, tarnished brass, and um, antique bronze. And uh, I used the gold, well, tarnished brass already. It looks really kind of gold. Um, I like it a lot. And um, 
I think those were only three dollars on Blitzy, so um, that's a pretty good deal. Usually they're five bucks, and I can't find them anywhere on sale. So, okay, so um, I'm going to move on to the little projects I've been doing, the um, card swap. So, um, my little sweet peas. If you want it to be a surprise, don't keep watching, okay? Because um, we're going to go ahead and start. Um, we had to make three cards, and they had to be fall themed. And however you interpret that is what, whatever you want to do. But um, I tried to keep it within the parameters of fall colors, you know, the traditional fall colors. So um, I started with this one. And it says, um, share the warmth of the season on the little banner. And I, um, I used, um, which paper line is this? Oh, I think this back here, it's a wood grain. And this was just like a single sheet of paper that I got at Hobby Lobby a long, long time ago, and I never got to use it. And um, this one as well is um, like red and orange uh, leaves background, and I distressed the whole thing with, um, oh, what is it called, um, walnut stain, my distress ink pads. And um, then I used the um, Tim Holtz distressor, and I distressed the edges of the card all the way around and as well as this piece of paper on these edges. And then I took um, a punch I have that's just a leaf and I punched down, you can't see it behind these leaves, but all the way down this side of the thing and put a piece of paper behind it so it would stand out more. And then I added um, some ribbon and some, like, um, jute twine, almost, that's, like, dark brown, and I twisted it together and just ran it down the edge. And then I put these leaves over it that I distressed. And they came already sparkly like that because they're um, Prima. See, I don't know if you can tell that they sparkle. And so, so I distressed them, and then I um, heat embossed in gold the sentiment. And I haven't finished the insides yet and stuff, so, but that's one card. And then, um, this one's not quite finished yet either. I want to add some flowers and a key and all kinds of stuff to it, but this is like A2 size. And it's going to say, um, unlock the joy of the season. And you just pull this off of here and it opens like that. And so I'll finish the inside, and the outside will have, like, um, flowers and some matching colors, some Prima flowers, and a key up in this area with the sentiment. And then this one I decided to keep simple, so um, she can really give it to anybody if she wants to and stuff. But I use these huge um, leaf buttons that I've had for a while. And... Um, the same wood grain background as the first card, and I distressed that. And I also um, distressed the edges of this red, but um, I didn't um, do it quite as much as the first card, so it's, it's not quite as rustic. And I don't know if I'm going to put a sentiment on this one, or if I'm going to leave it for her so that she could use it as a general card and stuff so and I'll finish the inside for her I'll put some um, paper in there and everything for her to write in the area and then I also made this card because um, I just love the Amy Tangerine line and these hands remind me of like togetherness and that's really you know the theme of fall for me is you know being with your family and celebrating that so I thought I would use that paper with the little guys that are hand in hand and stuff. I thought that was cute. So I'll go ahead and I'll put a sentiment up here and stuff for her up there. And um, let's see here. Okay, so done with the cards. My little sweet peas. You can watch again if you want or not. Um, you know, my creativity was feeling a little stifled there for a while, so I decided to just work on a random album and 
you know, do whatever I wanted to to it so that um, I could kind of get my creativity flowing. So I decided to use this um, jelly bean soup um, corrugated uh, butterfly album and stuff. So um, I used the Country Drive paper line, and um, this is just the cover. It's blank so far, but... Um, Here's the first page, and I decided to tear a lot of the stuff to kind of make it really country looking. And there's room for a, a photo. And then we move on to this page. And I think I love this page because I love those little trees, they're so cute. And then here's the back of that page, and it says, Remember this. I love these little birdies too, they're adorable. And I um, like to distress or add a little bit of detail to all of the photo pages and stuff. And this, I fussy cut every single one of these strips out, which took me forever and stuff because I don't have like a great, like super precision tip pair of scissors. I just have my Tim Holtz Tonic Studio um, scissors, so it took me a while. And then I have a uh, completed the other pages and stuff, but I think I love this paper. It's super cute, and like the rainbow kind of style is so me. And this is like a red, um, oh, it's called checkerboard, almost like a, a picnic cloth, tablecloth. And this is just green because. I made this one just a solid green page because this page that faces it is super busy with all these butterflies. So I thought that would tone down the page a little bit. And then there's the back and stuff. So I'll share that with you guys whenever I'm completely finished with it. It'll probably be um, like next Wednesday or so because I have a Halloween party to go to this weekend. I know Halloween is over. Some people think it's crazy whenever you celebrate Halloween for like all month. But like most of our friends and stuff that do go to the Halloween party have children and stuff. So they have to spend, you know, Halloween night with their kids trick-or-treating and things like that. So we just make it for the the weekend after Halloween. But, um, okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm rambling. Um, so that was my haul and my projects and stuff. Um, feel free to leave a comment. Um, I am going to post my Blitzy link at the bottom um, in the little text box underneath this. So um, thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully I'll be back a little sooner with a video <laughs> next time.